And despite the presence of aid groups among people affected by humanitarian crisis in the Northeast, millions still face the challenge of starvation. Men, women and children are under pressure daily due to the untold hardship they face in that part of the country. A correspondent Anslam Nuhu reports that the European Union has plans to change the narrative through a food security partnership in the affected areas. Hungry, tired and hopeless. There is fire, cooking pot and water. But what do they cook? <laughs> the effect of humanitarian crisis in northeastern Nigeria caused by insurgent brutality, followed by horsemen menace, have dashed the hopes of Nigerians living in this part of the country. We are suffering with food. The food is not enough for us. Nearly two million people have fled the brutal violence of Boko Haram. A million more are caught in the grip of hunger. The devastation caused by this conflict is massive, spilling into neighboring countries of Cameroon, Chad, and Niger. A staggering 17 million people have needs across Lake Chad Basin. Close to 9 million people are food insecure. Headsmen are our biggest nightmare. We planted guinea corn and beans, but they have been grazed off by their livestock. The heavy flood of this season further compounds the challenge. We are really in a big mess. People here are dying of malnutrition, despite the presence of AIDS groups. Hope is, however, at sight. The people's condition is getting better. A method adopted by Oxfam under the auspices of European Union support to food security and resilience in northern Nigeria. I used to get um, eight bags, but now I'm getting 32 bags of mess. It's been a terrible life until the intervention of Oxfam supported by European Union. UNICEF, however, warned without further assistance, up to 75,000 children would die in famine-like conditions in northeast Nigeria over the next year. Ansem Nuhu, STV News.